Hey everyone, uh, welcome back sa aking channel na GTR Math Tutorial. So for today's video, uh, we will discuss another motion problem na nanggaling sa 1001 solve problems in engineering mathematics. So day 4, number 185. So galing ito sa ECE board ng November 1998. Okay, so number 185, a man rows downstream at the rate of 5 miles per hour and upstream at the rate of 2 miles per hour. How far downstream should he go if he is to return in 7 over 4 hours after leaving? So mga choices, 2.5, 3.3, 3.1, or 2.7 miles. Okay, so tungkol ito sa downstream at upstream na problem. So ang formula lang na gagamitin natin uh, para dito ay ang formula ng distance na rate times time. So tapos tandaan kapag meron tayong downstream tsaka upstream na problem ang nagiging formula natin diyan ng ng rate ay iaad para sa para sa downstream ang ang rate natin ay uh, rate rate ng uh, nung man or nung uh, nung boat and then iaad natin ang iaad natin ang rate ng rate ng current Okay? And then sa upstream naman ay isasubtract natin. So rate ng boat minus rate ng, ng current natin. Okay? So sagutan na natin ang problem. So ano bang hinahanap sa problem natin? How far downstream? So how far downstream? Ayan. So how far downstream should he go if he is to return in 7 over 4 hours after leaving? So ang hinahanap natin, so dito, uh, let's say ito yung point natin kung saan nagsimula. So gano'ng kalayo siya, gano'ng kalayo downstream. So pumunta siya dito from this point hanggang dito and then bumalik. So gano'ng gano kalayo itong uh, distance na, na travel na yan. Okay, so since uh, same ang distance niyan kasi pabalik, a man rose downstream at the rate of 5 miles per hour and then upstream at a rate of 2 miles per hour. So ang hinahanap, how far? So therefore, ang magiging formula natin para dito ay T sub 1, yung time 1, ito yung uh, downstream, and then plus uh, time 2, ito naman yung upstream, equal sa T, ito yung total na time. Okay, so i-substitute lang natin ang mga given natin. So tandaan, itong T sub 1, or pwede naman magkabaligtad dyan, upstream, downstream, basta ang yung t ito yung total. Okay, so a man rows downstream. Okay, so downstream of 5 miles uh, per hour. So ang distance natin dito, so ang gagamitin na formula ay distance equal rate, rate times time. Tapos time parehas tong nasa formula natin so or nasa equation. So ang formula para sa time ay equal sa distance over, over rate. Okay, so distance over rate. So ang distance natin, yun yung hinahanap natin. How far downstream? So ito yung kailangan natin isolve itong distance. Okay, so i-substitute lang natin. Ang formula natin for T ay distance over, over rate. So itong T sub 1, ilate natin. Ito yung, uh, ito yung down, downstream. Itong T sub 2, ito naman yung time natin upstream. Okay, so therefore... Ang D natin for downstream, parehas yan. So therefore, we have D over ang downstream. Ano daw ang given natin, a man rows downstream at the rate of 5 miles per hour. Okay? So ang rate natin, ayan, 5 miles per hour plus upstream naman at the rate of 2 miles per hour. So D pa rin ito over ang rate upstream ay 2 miles per hour equals, ayan, so given yung total na time, how... How far downstream should he go if he is to return in 7 over 4 hours? So ang total time natin ay 7 over 4. And ito na ang magiging equation natin. Masasolve na natin ang D. Okay? So just solve for D. So we have uh, may denominators tayo, 5, 2, and 4. So i-multiply lang natin both sides of the equation by the LCD ng 5, 2, and 4. And that is 20. Okay, so multiply lang natin both sides by 20. Okay, so distribute lang natin itong 20 natin. So 20 divided by 5, that is equal to 4 times D. We have 4D plus 20 divided by 2, that is 10 times D. Times D. We have 10D equals 20 divided by 4, that is equal to 5. 
times 7, that is equal to 35. So solve for D, 4D plus 10D, that is equal to 14D is equal to 35. And then finally, divide both sides by 14. So when we divide this, 35 divided by 14. So pwedeng ma-reduce ito, uh, divide natin pareha sa, pareha sa 7. So magiging na siyang 5 over 35 divided by 7 is 5. 14 divided by 7 is 2. So ayan, mas madali nang i-lowest term yan or i-convert sa mixed number. 5 over 2 that is, in mixed number that is 2 and 1 half in decimal, that is equal to 2.5 miles. So therefore, the correct answer is letter A, 2.5 miles. Okay, so that's all. So thank you for watching and kita-kita tayo sa mga susunod pang mga math reviewer para sa engineering mathematics. So good luck sa lahat ng nagre-review. Bye-bye and God bless.